hello dear friends welcome back again hope you are all doing well so we are discussing about model question papers or the mathematics subject for the ec students okay so today i will discuss about the question number 1b as i have already uploaded the model question set 2 and also one question from the model question paper set 1 so we have discussed it first question right so today i will discuss question number 1b that is find the half range fourier sine series for f of x is given 1 by 4 minus x in 0 is less than x less than 1 by 2 or it is read as x greater than 0 less than 1 by 2 x minus 3 by 4 in x greater than 1 by 2 less than 1 okay this is the question so uh, so for half range fourier sine series there is the expansion f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x so this is the only formula for the uh, this half range fourier sine series so you have to remember these formulas as in the previous videos also whatever the formulas i have written you have to make the formulas on the a4 sheet so that on daily basis you will check it okay so that you will easily remember the formulas as far as the external examinations are concerned by practicing only you can remember these formulas right so uh, in this particular uh, formula we have to calculate bn value so bn is given 2 by l 0 to l f of x sine of n by x dx now we have to find out this l so it is already given in the function so i have uh, told you in the uh, previous video also it is given by the final interval minus initial interval interval this is your final interval let us suppose this is b and this is your a okay so l is equal to final minus initial is equal to b minus a right so this is your l is equal to 1 minus 0 so l is equal to 1 okay so now let us solve this particular question so i can write b n is equal to 2 by l means 2 by 1 integration of 0 to 1 l value as 1 f of x what is the function but there are uh, two interval 0 to 1 by 2 so i can break this function into two functions so i can write 0 to 1 by 2 is first function that is 1 by 4 minus x right so and also from the formula sine pi x sine and pi x right so instead of f of x i am taking first function which is from 0 to 1 by 2 then separately i can write another integral which is from 1 by 2 1 by 2 to 1 it is another function so 1 by 2 to 1 interval is the function x minus 3 upon 4 and also this sine of n pi x dx so this is your whole function now you have to apply the Bernoulli's rule of integration right so apply Bernoulli's rule Bernoulli's rule of integration right so bn is equal to this is your 2 integration of 0 to 1 by 2 so you can write it as see here this is 1 by 4 minus x you have to keep this as it is 1 by 4 minus x as it is integration of sine of n pi x so what is the integration of sine of n pi x it is minus cos of n pi x by n pi right this constant will go to the denominator then minus uh, differentiation of this term so 1 by 4 differentiation of 1 by 4 is 0 it is a constant and differentiation of x is 1 so it is minus here so i can write minus 1 then integration of this term again okay so what is the integration of minus cos so minus will remain same and what is the integration sorry integration of cos of n pi x is sine n pi x upon n square pi square okay so this is the integration of this particular term and the limits will shift from limits will shift from 0 to 1 by 2 okay then this term you have to separately integrate plus integration of this term so x minus 3 by 4 as it is you have to keep it then integration of sine of n pi x so integration is minus cos of n pi x upon n pi minus uh, differentiation of this term so what is the differentiation of x that is 1 differentiation of 3 by 4 is 0 so no need to write here then again integration of this term minus cos of n pi x divided by n pi so what is the integration it is equal to sine of n pi x upon n square pi square and the limits will shift from 1 by 2 to 1 so 1 by 2 to 1 is your uh, limit over here okay so now let's uh, oversimplify it okay so i can write it as sorry bn is equal to 2 
this and pi okay i will take it out and this minus i will take out okay so i will get minus 1 upon n pi what i will get inside see here 1 by 4 minus x is the term inside 1 upon 4 minus x and this cos of n pi x cos of n pi x and the limits will shift from this uh, 0 sorry yes 0 to 1 by 2 okay it is 0 to 1 by 2 i am just applying limit to the separate terms okay so that it will be easy for us to integrate it 1 by n square pi square okay this is sine of n pi x 0 to 1 upon 2 see here this is minus minus plus minus minus so minus is here n square pi square i have taken out then sine of n pi x n pi x and limits are 0 to 1 by 2 okay now this term so what can i write here so see here i am taking minus out okay and this is your n pi okay and also from this i am taking this minus out okay so what i will get here minus 1 upon n pi i am taking out then what i will get here x minus 3 upon 4 cos of n pi x right your limits will be sh shifted from 1 by 2 to 1 1 by 2 to 1 right then plus just because i have taken minus uh, common from here so here here i will left with this is your plus uh, sine of so 1 by n square pi square i will take out first then sine of n pi x and your limits will be shifted from 0 to sorry this is your 1 by 2 to 1 1 by 2 to 1 is your limit right then i can accordingly calculate it so b n is equal to let us oversimplify it also 2 into this is uh, minus 1 by n pi i am writing as it is minus 1 by n pi now apply limits okay so upper limit minus lower limit you have to apply okay let's apply now so this will be your 1 by 2 when you are putting instead of x what you will get 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so you will get 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 again let us see how this is your 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so 2 ones 4 ones that is 2 minus 4 divided by 4 twos are 8 you will get uh, 2 minus 4 is minus 2 upon 8 this is 2 ones 2 4 so minus 1 by 4 i am writing here right i hope you are getting this this is your minus 1 by 4 into cos of n pi x x instead of x i am putting 1 by 2 so i can write cos of n pi divided by 2 right then minus lower limit if i am applying here 0 so what will become this will become uh, sorry 1 by 4 minus 0 okay that is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 multiplied by this term so no need to write it here right so just because when you apply here cos of 0 so cos of 0 is always equal to 1 so multiplied by this term you will get minus 1 by 4 okay then minus 1 upon n square pi square as it is now you have to apply limit on this sine of n pi x okay what you will get so sine of n pi instead of x you have to put 1 by 2 you will get sine of n pi by 2 okay minus lower limit sine of 0 is always 0 so no need to write it here okay this is your first term then this one minus 1 upon n pi into upper limit 1 minus 3 by 4 okay so 1 instead of x i am putting 1 upper limit 1 minus 3 by 4 you will get 1 by 4 okay cos of and multiply with this term so cos of n pi into 1 is cos of n pi cos of n pi plus this is your uh, 1 by 2 now okay so you have to put this value now so 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 you will get again 1 upon 4 and cos of n pi into x means 1 by 2 so cos of n pi by 2 you have to simplify it okay otherwise the video will get too long so i hope you are understanding this this is the simple integration over here no complex at all then plus now here is the another term 1 upon n square pi square right then uh, you have to apply the limit 
so sine of n pi when you are just putting upper limit one so it will become sine of n pi so you already know sine of n pi is equal to zero and minus now lower limit sine of n pi into instead of x i am putting one by two so you will get sine of n pi by two this is your integration for this by uh, applying the limits now <clears throat> Now let us oversimplify this term also so bn is equal to 2 right i will take 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 as these are the cost terms right so cos of n pi cos of n pi by 2 cos of n pi by 2 i am taking 1 by 4 out this is your minus and minus will become positive so i will write it as 1 upon 4 and n pi is also here so 1 by 4 n pi what i will remain with cos of n pi upon 2 and here i will remain with positive 1 right just because i have taken it out when you just multiply minus into minus will become plus okay so minus this one cos of n pi minus cos of n pi by 2 okay so i hope you are getting it so this will become your when you are just taking minus uh, 1 by 4 as uh, out over here in these terms cos terms so you will get this one right so then i am left with this sine term and this sine term okay so you can observe here this is minus 1 upon n square pi square this is your plus 1 by n square pi square when you just multiply it with minus so 0 no need to write minus plus is minus so minus 1 by n square pi square minus 1 by n square pi square it will become 2 times n square pi square okay and also sine of n pi by 2 is here so sine of n pi upon 2 this is your whole term okay after simplifying now which is equal to 2 2 into i can write 2 into 1 upon 4 n 4 n pi okay so what will be here ah, yes cos of n pi by 2 and cos of n pi by 2 will get cancelled okay what i will get here that is 1 minus cos of n pi minus 2 by n square pi square okay sine of n pi by 2 right then i can write it as 1 upon see here when you just multiply it with this 2 you will get 2 ones 2 twos that is 1 by 2 n pi into inside i will get 1 minus this cos of n pi is equal to you have to remember in previous videos also i have mentioned it minus 1 raised power n so i can write 1 minus minus 1 raised power n okay so then minus 2 into 2 that will become 4 this is n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 this is your uh, what we call b n value now you have to put this b n value in the series expansion so what was the series expansion this summation of b n f of x is equal to summation of n running from 1 to infinity bn what is the bn value now this one 1 upon 2 n pi 1 minus minus 1 raised power n okay minus 4 upon n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 n pi by 2 this is your term and also here sine of n pi x so sine of n pi x this is your half range Fourier sine series okay this is the answer for this particular question so no need to worry about it all uh, almost how many steps almost three to four steps are in this particular problem little bit differentiation is there not up to the complex level so you should practice these questions once or uh, once or twice so that you will get grip on these particular questions okay hope this video is beneficial for you people make sure you will share it with your all friends thanks for watching my video